let's talk about using New Line Cast with your interactive display. So first, access your onboard PC and find this New Line Cast icon. New Line Cast is a way to wirelessly connect any device to the display. As New Line Cast boots up, you're going to notice it's going to create a session and it's going to give you instructions on the screen. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your moderator mode is on. Go to the settings at the bottom left corner and under session management, you will see moderator mode. Let's go ahead and toggle that on. It's going to give us two advantages. One, no one can take over your screen until you invite them to. And two, it also gives you this grid view option down here at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and connect our Windows computer to the display wirelessly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the Display Node app in Windows. The app is going to ask me for two pieces of information, a session ID and my name. I'm going to enter in my session ID and my name and hit connect. On the right side of the screen, you can see that I am connected. Because the moderator mode is running, I have to tap on my name and invite to present. At this point, the screen tells me I've been invited and I can hit share my screen. You're now looking at my Windows computer. If I were to have a document camera plugged into my Windows device, that document camera feed can then be transferred to the board. When I'm finished, I'm going to hit the exit button here and go back. Another way that you can use this is for students to share their work from their Chromebooks. Here I have a Chromebook in my hand. Again, I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the Chrome browser and I'm going to type in the URL, displaynote.com forward slash join. You may also see on the right side of your screen the Display Note app. It's a little black square that says DN. If you tap on that, it will ask you to join a session. Again, this is going to look very similar to the Windows device. It's going to ask for that same session ID. And a name. I'm going to hit connect. and my second device is connected. You may have to allow Chrome to use your camera and your video here. If I want Agata 2 to present, I'm going to tap on the name and hit invite. On this side, I get the prompt to share my screen. And again, we are now looking at a reflection of whatever's on the screen. So either way, you can wirelessly connect your student Chromebook or your teaching laptop to the display.